I want to say thanks to the members of the Rules Committee who put in so many hours over the past several days to prepare what uh, is an unprecedented rule in, in my experience, but it's important for moving us forward. So the members of the Rules Committee who put in the long hours this weekend uh, certainly want to thank the members of that committee and the staff for working so hard. We're going to get this underlying legislation to the floor. It's important. You're hearing a lot about the border this evening for a reason. A lot of us have studied the problems at the border for several years, but I'll just tell you, it's never been this bad. And people see that, and, and we're constantly asked at home, why can't you do something about that? And Mr. Roy is exactly right. We did pass a very significant policy bill, H.R. 2, earlier this year. But it does no good to continue to fund if the administration is not going to enforce the law, even the current law, but enforce the law that, which is essentially the will of the Congress. What we're doing here today is critical. We're fulfilling our obligation to our constituents and the American people. We're going to fund the government in a responsible and fiscally sound manner, as opposed to this business as usual stuff that's been going on for several years where Congress is expected to rubber stamp what comes over from the Senate, rubber stamp what's asked for by the President. And you know, our duty extends far beyond from what is happening just today. The next generation and the next generation after that, our, our future, the country's future, depends on us standing strong at this moment and ensuring that the funds of the American taxpayer are wisely spent. Look, this administration's track record has failed, failed on so many levels, failed my constituents, failed your constituents, Madam Speaker, the people of Texas, the migrants who've lost their lives on this dangerous journey to cross our border. Madam Speaker, this administration is not only complicit, but bears the sole responsibility for this humanitarian crisis that is unfolding before our very eyes. The Biden administration's failure to enforce our laws, their shameful handcuffing of our courageous border patrol agents from effectively safeguarding our borders has allowed the southern border to devolve from anarchy into a calamity. Madam Speaker, our work here today signifies our crucial mission to rectify the past errors, steer our nation back on the path of fiscal responsibility, People need to know that we recognize our solemn duty to correct course and restore fiscal sanity, not only for our sake, but for, those, for the sake of those who will come after. Thank you, Mr. Roy, and I'll yield back my time.